Hi, I'm Jason. This video is on level K thinking. The idea behind level K thinking is that a player forms an expectation of what others will do and tries to be one step ahead. That is, a level K player plays the best response to level K minus one players. Level zero players do not engage in strategic thinking. This is usually modeled as randomization across all strategies. Level one players assume other players are level zero and act optimally conditional on this assumption. Level two players assume other players are level one and act optimally conditional on this assumption, and so on. To understand level K thinking, consider the following thought experiment from Keynes. Professional investment may be likened to those newspaper competitions in which the competitors have to pick out the six prettiest faces from a hundred photographs. The prize being awarded to the competitor whose choice most nearly corresponds to the average preferences of the competitors as a whole. So that each competitor has to pick not those faces which he himself finds prettiest, but those which he thinks likeliest to catch the fancy of the other competitors, all of whom are looking at the problem from the same point of view. It is not a case of choosing those which, to the best of one's judgment, are really the prettiest, nor even those which have average opinion genuinely thinks the prettiest. We have reached the third degree where we devote our intelligences to anticipating what average opinion expects the average opinion to be. And there are some, I believe, who practice the fourth, fifth, and higher degrees. This thought experiment has since been developed into a game, the P Beauty Contest. In the P Beauty Contest, each of N players pick a number Y between zero and 100. The winner is the player whose chosen number is closest to the mean of all the chosen numbers that is y bar, multiplied by a parameter p. That is, the winner is the player with their chosen number closest to p y bar. p is commonly chosen such, as, such, a, such that p lies between zero and one, with p equals a half and p equals two thirds common. How might level k players play, play this game? Suppose p equals two thirds. A level zero player does not think strategically. We will have the level zero player randomly select a number between zero and 100. The level one player will play the best response to level zero players. If level zero players select across the interval zero to 100, the best response is y1 equals two thirds of y bar, which equals two thirds of 50, which equals 33.3. The level two player will play the best response to level one players. If all other players are level one and select 33.3, the best response is Y2, which equals two thirds of Y bar equals two thirds of 33.3, which equals 22.2. The level three player will play the best response to level two players. If all other players are level two and select 22.2, the best response is Y3, which equals two thirds of Y bar, which equals two thirds of 22.2, which equals 14.8 and so on. The following charts come from Nagel, and with p equals a half and p equals two thirds. The charts show the distribution of chosen numbers in the p-beauty contest. In the chart with p equals two thirds, you can see spikes at 22.2 and 33.3, .3, suggesting players are playing at level two and level one respectively. This matches with other experimental evidence on the p-beauty game, where there are few level zero players. Most are level one, level two, and level three. The lab evidence doesn't necessarily imply that level K is the right model. Data and theory appear to match, but it's hard to know whether this is how subjects are thinking. Finally, it is worth noting that in the, that in the Nash equilibrium, each player picks zero. This is because the best response to all other players picking zero is to pick zero. For any higher number, everyone has an incentive to lower their choice. However, if playing against level K players, Selecting zero is not the best approach. Let's consider another example of level K thinking involving a game called the assignment game. Each player needs to decide if they will work or shirk. If they both work, they receive a good payoff. They receive an even better payoff, however, if they shirk while the other works. Working through the payoffs for each player, if player B works, player A is better off shirking receiving a payoff of nine. If player B shirks, player one is better off working, receiving a payoff of one. If player A works, player two is better off shirking, receiving a payoff of nine. 
And if player A shirks, player B is better off shirking, receiving a payoff of zero. There is a unique Nash equilibrium, work shirk, with shirks the dominant strategy for player B. Consider, however, if instead of fully rational agents, we have level K thinkers playing this game. In this case, the outcome of the game will depend on the level of thinking of each player. If both players are level zero, they will each play randomly. At level one, each player will play their best response to level zero players. Each player determines this by calculating their best response to the random strategy of the other player. For player A, their expected payoffs are calculated, calculated using the 50% probability with which player B could play each action. The expected payoff from playing work is a half times seven plus a half times one, which equals four. The expected payoff from playing shirk is a half times nine plus a half times zero equals 4.5. A level one player A chooses to shirk. For player B, their expected payoff from playing work is a half times four plus a half times minus one, which equals 1.5. Their expected payoff from playing shirk is a half times nine plus a half times zero, which equals 4.5. A level one player B also chooses to shirk. If a player has a dominant strategy, they discover it at K equals one. Any level K thinker will always use the dominant strategy for K greater than or equal to one. In that case, we know that any player B with K greater than or equal to one will shirk. What if each player is level two? Player A calculates their best response to a level one player B. A level one player B always plays shirk. Player A's best response to shirk is to work. The level two player A works. Although we know a level two player B will shirk as shirk is their dominant strategy, we can show this by considering their best response to a level one player A. A level one player A always plays shirk. Player B's best response to shirk is to shirk. The level two player B shirks. At a certain level of thinking, the players will discover the Nash equilibrium. Here they have discovered it at level two thinking. For any higher level of thinking, they'll remain at Nash equilibrium. That is, if players are endowed with K equals K bar rationality and they play Nash, all players with K greater than K bar will also play Nash. Another example of level K thinking is the centipede game. The centipede game has six stages. At each stage, a player can take and end the game, or they can pass, increasing the total payoff. The other player then has a move. The numbers one and two along the top of the centipede represent the decision nodes for two players. At the first node, player one has the choice to take or pass. If player one passes, player two has the choice to take or pass, and so on. At the final node, the game ends regardless of what player two chooses. The payoff when a player takes and ends the game is represented by the numbers in the brackets. The first number is the payoff for player one, and the second number is the payoff for player two. There is a unique subgame perfect equ equilibrium for the centipede game. S1 equals take, 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 and S2 equals take, 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 where S1 and S2 are the set of strategies for player one and player two, respectively. We solved for this in the video on sequential games. What do people do when playing the centipede game in the lab? People tend to pass until a few stages before the end, depending on the length of the centipede, and then take. They do not pay, play the Nash equilibrium strategy. Can level K thinking provide an insight into this behavior? Suppose a level K, level, suppose a level zero player passes until the end. They are possibly lucky if they are player one playing against another level zero player. A level one player two would take at four, six, as the level zero player one would pass until then. A level one player one would be planning to take at six, five, as at the end, they believe the level zero player two will keep passing. A level two player two would plan to take at the final stage four, six, as they believe the level one player one passes. A level, level two player one would take the payoff at five, three as they believe a level one player one would take at four, six. A level three player two would plan to take at two, four, as they believe the level one player one will take at five, three. A level three player, player one would plan to take 
at 5-3, as they believe a level two, player two would take at 4-6, and so on.